And we're back. Welcome back to F2, a phobia, Wikiphobia. 69 health. Very funny HP. Yay. We're winning. I took damage and we were losing, but now I'm at 69 health, so we're winning. Truth. What the heck? Okay. I'm trying to make as many doors as I can because I'm only in an underwater cave right now, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Underwater caves are pretty good for like finding stuff because you don't have to deal with mobs, but See, it is annoying that you do need. You say doors. that, but I have drowns chasing me. So oh yeah, it's except not for the drowns. <laughs> the drowns are the only ones that you have to worry about, but unless they have a trident, they are generally okay. I'm saying that with a lot of trepidation because I don't want to make any bold claims. I'm getting shot at by a skeleton. Leave me alone. No. Shoot back with your bow that you totally have. Yep. Doing it, doing it. I need to make torches. I do have flint, so... If I had apples, I could craft a... parry. God, I'm still mad at myself. I didn't get any apples on the surface, so I'm gonna have to wait until... I'm gonna have to either grab my own apples again with, like, a hoe or something, or I'm gonna have to meet up with you. Uh, but we need we need a diamond before we can brew. Yeah, we can't even be thinking about that stuff right now. We need a diamond first. Yeah. I need coal, but there's like none because I'm at deep slate level. I just want to be able to see, man. Alright, let me continue reading because I'm still not done. That's how many effects there are in this game mode, everybody. And we are now into episode two as well, so if you haven't read or heard me describe all the potion effects so far, um, yeah, go back and watch up one, because that was what most of my episode was. Uh, Alright, so after Sturdy Back is Slime Surge, which you use a slime ball for, which since the entire game is Swamp and Mangrove Swamp, you will uh, probably encounter at least one slime in the game. At least one. Uh, and the result for that one is you get jump boost four and slow falling one. And I just fell, speaking of falling, I fell onto a stalactite while I was saying oh, that. Oh, nice. So I'm also no longer Iron Man. You poked your toe on a stalagmite and you took five billion hearts of damage. Yeah, this game is really cool that you can just fall half a block and take damage. I've always wanted to set up a, a dripstone trap where, because, like, it'll just kill you after, like, fought, falling five blocks or yeah. whatever, but it you need to break the block that it's on rather than just placing it, so mm -hmm. it's it's not as useful. I, oh, I do have coal, actually. Okay. In theory, you could probably do, like, a piston trap where, where if you get a sticky piston, it'll pull the, the block, or just push the block holding it out. And, alright, so the next effect after the one that I just had described, which is the slow falling and, uh, whatchamacallits, whatever the hell else was there, I don't remember right now, because I'm busy trying to not die in this cave, um, is Sugar Rush, which, for anybody who, again, has potion knowledge, pretty self-explanatory, you're gonna get speed one for 20 seconds when you mix sugar with an elixir. Uh, that would be good for if you're running away from someone, or if you're just in a really intense bow fight and want to be moving around faster to dodge arrows. Yeah. I didn't um, even think about that, to, to use it during a bow fight for, like, better navigation. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna exit my cave and try and find a new one and hope I don't die on the surface. Alright. Uh, following Sugar Rush is Rainbow Scale, which you use a tropical fish to get. So some of these are, like, fishing materials, so if you don't get them from the mangrove propagule, you're gonna have to fish if you want those. Oh, um, yeah. And Rainbow Scale gives you a random effect and doubles the duration. So if, say, I drank a Rainbow Scale Elixir, and I got, I don't know, Magma Core as my result, I would get Fire Resistance 1 for... Or Fire Resistance 2, I guess, for two minutes. Oh, yeah, I have Magma Blocks from the... From the Ruined there Portal. Yeah, hold I on to those. Them. Hold on to those. Yeah. Um, following that is Thick Coat, which is White Wool, and you get Resistance 3 for three seconds with that one. And I am finally done reading, so I can actually Woo! focus on playing the game. Woohoo! can finally begin episode one. I need to try to get some more freaking coal, because I used two of my three pieces to make torches. 
There is a ravine right here. We like to see that, and it's underwater, so... I don't see any drowns, so I think it's safe. I'm glad that this is not last season's game mode where you get, like, nausea and eventually poisoning from the water. Right. Last season was a pretty complex game mode, but I think it was a bit complex. It's like, it was, it was cool in concept, but a bit complex. But it was still, I think, a good season that will hopefully be released soon in order. I mean, they, we are gonna release it in order, it's just a matter- yeah. I don't even know what's the hold up. I think, like, I think Sid has to- I don't know if Sid finished the art or not, I think he did, so. Yeah, he, he did, he only had to do Fruit Logic's art, so the art is all done, and it's DJ making the intro. So yeah, whatever's so it's, holding it's him DJ up. it's DJ holding us up, shocking. Yeah. Yeah, we're <laughs> calling you out. Alright, finally, I actually can't- but like, it feels like I'm playing a different game now that I'm not trying to read and play the game at the same time. <laughs> Putting the hard back in ultra hardcore. Yeah. You have to read simultaneously. Oh, hi, creeper. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. I hate that I, like, typically I've never had to cave in a stalactite cave in, in like, RRs and stuff, but, like, this is awful. Ooh, yeah, they, they really, they really suck. I need to find where I can go get a fuck ton of coal and come back down here, because I know my entire comment section is screaming at me for not mining all this gold that is in my cave, but... My cave? Get the gold, get the gold, it's right there! Yeah, I see it, I'm trying to get coal first. Don't worry. I'm being a little, little cheeky, I have the, uh, the, the boosted brightness mod. I'm playing ah, so on 147. Cheating. I'm playing on 147 so you're brightness. you're cheating. Yes. Never mind that I still have to use torches because it's still super fucking dark. <laughs> My teammate is cheating. At Phobia Organizer is teammate cheating. <laughs> I get kicked. The season gets redone. Oh shit, I'm gonna take more damage. I didn't. Oh. New record. First first time Not fighting a taking skeleton damage. on <laughs> Yeah, first time fighting a skeleton in 1.19 old combat Arctic and not taking damage. I expect an award in, in the mail. In the mail. Alright, I'm dropping down here and praying that I don't die. Thank you. Please don't die. <laughs> uh, I need to make another furnace, but I have no cobblestone. Oh my god, my life is so awesome in this UHD right now. For some reason, for, for a brief second, I thought BBR's skin was a squid. I mean, he do be looking squid-like. Yeah, it definitely has the, the same colors. When when I first looked up, like, when I first encountered squids in Minecraft in, like, beta 1.6 or whatever it was, like, I was building a house by the water and I found squids, and they turned upside down and you could see all the fucking teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, it Jump terrified scare? me. Yeah. yeah, it genuinely terrified me. Like... I don't know if that's where it started or if that I already had that and that just like made me aware of it, but I definitely do have a fear of like lamprey style mouths where it's just like a ring of teeth. Interesting. So, Let's get not, the, the Kraken mod on the server for next season. What then. the fuck? Oh my god, Creeper. I just was like, oh my god. I was just walking just like around and like I just hear a sss behind me and. Scary. It took yeah. no damage though, so we're chilling. No, it didn't explode. It didn't explode. It uh, it just lit up a little. But that did make me aware of the fact that my sounds need to be higher. Um, oh. dude, I need to. I hate stalactite caves with a passion. My only damage so far has been to those. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna quick TL just, just in case. It's not a bad idea actually. Oh yeah, we're. I mean, we're, we're still in the, the same X, quadrant, so that's the good yeah. news. Typically, I'm in a different quadrant from my teammate. I have a tendency <laughs> of running. Oh, let's see. Max is on 65. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of people are taking some very weird damage values, that's for sure. Yeah. Katie at 58, you at 69, Mark at 53 now. He just took yeah. that while I was reading them. Katie was at 18 before, so Colin definitely uh, healed Elixir, her up. Yeah. 
Oh, diamonds. I found a diamond. All right, that's our freaking brewing stand. Yeah. Yeah, we should definitely make that before enchants. Like, I'm not even, like, joking or anything. Well, like... you sh yeah, you shouldn't be joking, because we have to... <laughs> Those can help us make freaking more potions. Yeah. Very important. Don't... The only problem is that this diamond is past a bit of lava, and I don't have a water bucket, and I'm terrified. Ugh. Luckily, I found this at deep slate level, so don't even have to worry about going all the way down for that. Episode 2 is about to end, and I have not mined any gold yet. I don't think that's going to be the case by the end of the episode, but this is a very slow caving game for me. Yeah. Marky's still at 100. Much better than his last performance I mean, in uh, Chronophobia. To be honest with you, he's probably not even in a real cave right now, is my <laughs> guess. Probably. I mean, knowing Brody, he's probably just, like, happily doing everything for for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no. Don't throw out the bone. Don't throw out the bone. Yeah, keep that shit. Yeah. I have such a habit of throwing out bones, like, even when it'd be useful to have a dog, so it's like... Uh... I now have full iron. Awesome. I'm still missing helmet, but I'm mining. I'm smelting 39 iron right now, so. And more importantly, I have enough coal to fucking let me see for the rest of the game. I think so. Awesome. You like? You love to see? Yeah, literally. Okay. Where is all the gold that is on the floor here? No, that's, this is some of it. Uh, I will throw out my stone sword for that, because I have an iron one now. Uh, I don't want to fight you. You have some effect. What the hell was that? Okay, I killed the skeleton. That's good. Awesome. Scary. I'm gonna try to get as much lapis as possible so I can make a freaking divine potion. Cause that could be clutch. Bucket now, I need to make... I can make all my tools into stuff. Oh yeah, I need to just straight up craft the, the brewing stand. Might okay. as well just not even wait. Yeah, Alright, improved brewing stand. Where was the rest of the gold that I saw? Okay, that is the border over there, and I see la more lapis, but like nothing else. Ooh. This cave kind of sucks. I need to, I need to go back and grab water before I continue traversing this cave. Luckily, there's a single source of water right here. That's the weirdest four vein of gold I've ever mined. Or five vein, sorry. It's a weird four vein because it's five. It was like an L shape inside of a wall. It was weird. Huh. Okay, so that goes nowhere. That goes nowhere. Uh, redstone gives you parafusion, so give me give me this redstone, please. Oh yeah, I threw out my redstone, but that shouldn't be difficult to, to keep finding. That's the thing, right? Until we have the ability to brew multiple potions, like, we're gonna be sitting here... Trying With to... very full inventories. Yeah. What do we throw out? Should I throw out this, or should I keep this? Okay, so this is dead end. Lock that up. I think it'd be funny to freak people out if uh, by placing a nether rack as my main block if only if, if only nether weren't off and yeah. so everybody would know that that's just fake okay uh, another creeper fucking like and scared me I thought it was a creeper turning the corner oh, oh hey geez. there's an actual creeper turning the corner here it's, speak of the devil it's like I manifested that Okay, I, I did the thing where you light a creeper with flint and steel just so I didn't have to fight it. What but, uh, the... if anybody was nearby... Oh, I just accidentally scrolled to my books. That's what happened. I was like, what just happened to me? Huh. It's 
zombie what villager. What's happening to you right now? Move out of the way, zombie villager. Okay, there's my first mind gold right here. Oh, hey, okay, I am oh now gosh, in an actual bad, yeah. low level cave, so hopefully Ooh. cool stuff starts showing up. That was a very poor choice of descent, because I could have nearly just fallen right onto stalag the dripstone. Yeah, pref preferably don't do that. Yeah. Especially because I'm already at seven hearts, so. Okay, Maybe this cave ideal. is so crazy. Was that a spawner I just saw? No. Okay. Could find a saddle in a, in a spawner. Yeah, Definitely. that would be... That's another thing to hold on to. That's what that is. Another inventory spot. I have redstone, right? Yep. Oh, Bill found diamonds outside the border. <laughs> Oh, well, what okay, I guess this? it was a really good thing I mined the redstone. I didn't find diamonds, but I found a whole other cave that is not dripstone. That's good. It's basically yeah. as good as finding diamonds. <sighs> yeah, this dripstone cave that I'm in is the most empty cave I've ever had in my life. Oh, There's literally nothing in here. Mark is on 42. There's a spawner. I think? Is this a spawner? Oh, this is a person's doing. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. Do you, you don't see any names, right? Oh, there is a spawner here. No, I don't see any names. Oh. So you see, like, a, a, a spawner that somebody Cobblestone else... Cobblestone like... glow. Yep. People broke a spawner here. Huh. Free oh. logic burnt to death. All right. Wow, okay, was that PvP or was that just... I mean... Might have just touched lava without a water bucket. Yeah, maybe. Or tasty. <laughs> I just want to know who is in this cave, because, like, I saw Shop and Ripper earlier. Ooh. Like, I definitely don't want to fight if it's one of them. I think I'm gonna... I think we should just meet up right now, and I'll toss you some apples. Yeah. I... Uh, my cave is right here. I mean, it's not done yet, but I don't see... It's another dripstone cave, so I don't really see a lot to it. I'm, like, looking looking around, and I don't see, like, any gold. Like, there's, like, copper over there. Yeah, it's, like, nothing. The only thing is that there's spiders right here, so I might want to get string. Scrap it. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm digging up to try to come to you and I find a actual, like, I found an area nice. above the cave that I was just in that has actual stuff, so that's cool. Nice. Okay. I mean, I'm still gonna try to leave, obviously, okay. but... Okay, I did just find a bunch of gold, though. That's good. Okay, give me this gold, and give me this gold over here, and I'll get the fuck out of this cave, because I do not want to stick around. Oh, there's gold in the roof, too? No, that's the same vein. Shit. Uh. I hate zombies, like, more than probably any other mob, just because they are so annoying. I hate baby zombies the most. Yeah, like I mean, zombie... baby zombies suck especially, I but... think I think zombies tracking you from 48 blocks is the worst change that Mojang has ever added to this game. Yeah. It's kind of neat when you are only thinking about, like, oh, it's like a zombie horde, like zombie movies that were popular in the time that this update happened, but, like, it, it gets annoying after a while. I don't know if that's a hello to me. Oh, I just found I a mine it's... shaft digging up. Oh, blue and gray have found each other. I'm gonna yoink some string out of this real quickly, so I have a bow. Episode 3. Later, there's the episode.